Well, there's new hope for military veterans suffering from PTSD. Stanford just released a study about a psychoactive drug meant to help those suffering from traumatic brain injury. According to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, 7% of veterans will experience post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's also more common among female veterans. 13% experience some form of PTSD. And joining us now is Dr. Nolan Williams, is an associate professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences at Stanford. So doctor, first tell us, what is this a psychoactive drug and how exactly does it work? Yeah, it's called Ibogaine. It's um, an atypical um, psychedelic. It's um, derived from the root bark of a tree in Africa. Um, and it's been known since 1900 when the French um, discovered this in Gabon. Before that, it was utilized by the Gabonese um, for for centuries uh, as a, um, a tool of social cohesion. Um, and at high doses, this has been used for opiate um, use disorder outside of the country, outside of, uh, outside of the US uh, and Canada and Mexico and other places the last several decades. Um, but recently, uh, veterans have been using it in Mexico for traumatic brain injury and PTSD. And um, we built a study around this to understand the phenomenon um, that was going on um, in Mexico, where uh, about a thousand now special forces veterans have gone down and taken this and have uh, claimed to have gotten a lot better. So in 2018, we built a study um, where uh, veterans would be brought out to Stanford and evaluated for a couple of days before they went down. And then we, we would be able to assess the effects after they came back from Mexico. Um, at one week and one month. And what we found was really striking. So all of the disabled, <clears throat> all of the disability scores um, normalized. Um, people went from mild to moderate disability from traumatic brain injury to no disability. Their post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and anxiety were uh, much improved. Um, and uh, basically everybody didn't meet criteria for a lot of those conditions after, um, after they returned. Do you know how that drug is actually working? We don't. Um, there are a lot of, it has a lot of different mechanisms, but the kind of holistic idea is that it um, in, increases plasticity in the brain and makes the brain more flexible and able to change. And I know there was a recent study by Stanford that we were looking at also using uh, mushrooms. Is there any relations to how that drug is being used and versus this drug? They both work on the serotonin syndrome, um, the serotonin system, but this drug works uh, more broadly. So it works on the opiate system. It works on the glutamate system. So it has a much broader um, set of actions. And uh, that's why we think it affects um, many more conditions um, than, uh, say, psilocybin mushrooms, which has mm -hmm. uh, been shown to be an antidepressant uh, drug primarily. So overall, how effective is that psychoactive drug in treating PTSD, and how does that compare to other treatments for PTSD? Yeah, you know, the standard treatments for PTSD have been um, studied in, in quite in depth um, for decades, and so we have a lot of data on those. Um, this has a signal of remarkable efficacy. You know, everybody that received it, um, you know, that had a PTSD diagnosis, um, you know, went through a period where they um, didn't um, meet criteria for PTSD anymore. That's much more striking than what we see with conventional uh, medications, but it's an open label trial. It's an early, um, it's an early trial. So we have a lot of work to do um, to figure out is this level of dramatic efficacy sustained when you do all the necessary studies um, within the United States in controlled settings. Well, always good information, and I know a lot more study needs to be done. So thank you very much, doctor, for joining us. Thank you.